Here we go, we're back and going. We are back and going, we're good. Okay, we're on lap 105 out of 125. We have 20 laps to go here at the Mil at the Milwaukee Mile. So far, so good. We have 20 laps to go. Everybody's starting to pit. No clue what the order will be. It looks like somebody has stayed out. Let's see who this is, if we can see. Seeing if anybody else is actually DNF. Nobody else. Looks like somebody we can't connect to. Which, that is perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine with this. We there are 20 laps to go left in this fabulous race. Let's see how these last 20 laps will go too. Pretty excited. Your order. Well, let's see actually once we get back here. Is the number 80. I cannot currently find a name for that at the moment. Then we have BR Chris. Which I actually believe that might be. It might be Melon. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so anyways, it was Marcus, and then the 51, I believe, is actually Melon Man, and then we have Gamers. So that is your top five. We have 20 laps to go here at the Milwaukee Mile for the Bell Tower 450. We have had five racers DNF at, uh, as of now. Uh, earlier in the race, we had hitting the space bar. Um, DNF first. He got last place, um, which was 12th. In 11th, we had Winter Wolf DNF because he had to leave. Uh, in 10th, we had a High Side Racer. In 9th, we had a Racing Pup. And in 8th, we had the Baseball Freak. Right now, your leader is BR Chris, followed by Fallen Gamer, Melon Man, Melon Man, Melon, Melon, yeah, anyways, Melon Man. Followed by your boy Marcus in this nice 24 car. Followed by Gamers, who's right on his tail. Followed by Mavis in the number 60. Let's get to his point of view. In number 7th, we have Light Yagami. We're going to go an onboard cam with him for a moment. Looks pretty good. Oh, and we go under Yellow Flag. And and he was the one that rounded out the field. Oh, it looks like it's a red. Never mind, it is back. It's yellow. It looks like it was an accidental click of the red flag. Here we go. We are on lap 109. 121 laps to... No, 121 laps. 21 laps. If we had 121 laps, we'd have another problem. So 21 laps to go here at the Milwaukee Mile. I'd like to thank our sponsors for allowing us this fabulous opportunity. Uh, of course, BIRA, um, Heinz, uh, they have been really nice to us here, and as well as Roblox, a.k.a. what we are currently streaming on right now. Those are our sponsors. And as you can see, Light Yagami is entering the pits. 
Nobody else went, so I guess there's a thing going on there. Your leader currently is BR Chris 12. He has led a good amount of laps today. Followed by Fallen Gamer YT. I finally found out who that was. Followed by Melon Man. Followed by Marcus Mavis Gamer and Light Yagami. Let's see how these last 21 laps go. Not 21. Hold on. I cannot do math. Sixteen laps. Can't do can't do math. Never ask me to do math. So it says one oh nine here. I don't know what it says on the stream. Why does it say 105 there, but it says 109 here? We're about to find out. That's weird. Well, we're having a glitch. It's currently on lap 110. I terribly apologize for this. In fact, we are actually going to take that out. This is going to look terrible for a minute. Why did that just change? We're going to fix this really quick. We are having an issue, it looks like. Yeah, we are having an issue here. Uh, I will get this fixed as soon as I can here. Uh, just seeing, you're seeing what I have to do in order to set this up. So as you can see, this is all I have to do. And then... If I can grab the right text.
There it is. Right there. There we go. We're back and going. Except for the top. Probably should fix the number one leaderboard. And we are back underway, as you've seen already. Here we go, I fixed the leaderboard. Don't mind my time to glare. Wait, what's going on? What am I thinking here? Okay, we good? I think it's good. Okay. So, BR Chris and Lead, followed by Melon Man, Gamers, Light Yagami, Fallen, Mavis, and your boy Marcus. There we go. Oh! We have a battle for the lead. And what's going to happen here? The 51 of Melon Man and BR Chris, who's your current leader. Have had battles this entire race. And also Rocket Man 13, uh, I saw your comment. Uh, it's mostly because of my internet. My internet has not been doing so well for me lately. It is just because of my internet. It'll be fixed by next stream. So we have, oh, and there goes around your leader. We're going to switch here. We have a battle for the lead again. We have eight laps to go. Now seven laps to go. In the Milwaukee Mile Bell Tower 450. Oh, the 51 almost around. We, near, we have a three-way battle for the lead right here. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, there it goes your leaders. What's going to happen here? Oh, Gamers is third. I thought he was about to take the lead. So we have Mavis, Melon, Gamers, Chris, Light, Marcus, and Fallen. I'm pretty sure this is all the people that'll be DNFing for this race, so we do not need that up here anymore. Who's thinking about getting banned? Just look into the log real quick. Hmm. 
No, I didn't see anything, so it's all good. There we go. And we are going back green. Mavis, Melon, Gamers, Chris, Light is your top five. Followed by Marcus and Fallen. We did have another driver DNF, I feel like. We are on lap 119 out of 125. Going on to lap 125 to go when they cross the line. Oh, and Gamers is around. Gamers getting that hit back on Chris. Didn't work. He's going to flip. Oh, Gamers on his roof. That'll send, I believe, Gamers to the back with five laps to go, going to four laps to go, and they cross the line. Melon Man, Mavis, and Light are your top three. Followed by Marcus in fourth and Chris in fifth. We have four laps to go here at the Milwaukee Mile for the Bell Tower 450 on the AEC Sports Network. Looks like we had a little bit of an argument between the 60 and the 51. So they're all lining up. Is anybody going into the pits? I don't think so. Melon Man, Mavis, Light, Marcus, Chris, Fallen, and Gamers is your order. We are about to go green. Four laps to go. Asking if these, if they are all ready. They all, or most of them say they are. So we are gonna go green once again here at Milwaukee. Four laps to go when they cross the line. Oh, they start to go when he asks if they're ready. What's going to happen here? Or, or, the only one that said ready was... Oh, there we go. And we're going green. Four laps to go here in Milwaukee. What will happen here in these four laps? Can't wait to see. We've had an action-packed race. We're going to go back in the pack a little bit. we got a battle for last place. Wow. Born Marcus in fourth. He hasn't been doing too bad this race. Right now it's Melon Man, who sadly we cannot spectate. Let's see what happens here. We have three to go. Two to go here, Milwaukee Mile there on the back stretch. And it looks like Melon Man and Mavis are battling it out for the lead. We are going white flag this next time by here at the Milwaukee Mile. White flag here, one lap to go. They're coming on a turn four, crossing the line. It's going to be Melon Man gets the win. Followed by Mavis, Light, Gamers, Marcus, Chris, and Fallen. Melon has just won this race on his first start. Wow!
<laughs> the checkered flag will go to Melon Man 45. You're not number 51. We are actually going to go over and see if he does any celebration. And he is. Since we are not able to spectate, we're going to watch him live. That was an amazing race here at the Milwaukee Mile for the Bell Tower 450. I will have to mention that Mellon was actually one of my three picks. The other one, which I was actually thinking was going to win this race, was Gamers. My three picks tonight were Winters, Mellon. He wasn't really my he wasn't really my top pick. He was kind of there. But he did really well. And then Gamers. Honestly, my top pick in the night was Gamers. So I guess I lose that battle there. There is your winner coming in. Coming into a victory lane. We're going to fly down here to victory lane. That was absolutely amazing. Hey, hey, hey. That was a really, really good race here. Very proud of all these racers tonight here at the Milwaukee Mile. We are going to hopefully be able to get an interview here in a moment. Kind of just interrupting them because <laughs> AEC is better than ESPN.
That was an amazing win by AK Paul Paracone. Amazing. This race was honestly really amazing. And here he is. Welcome to the AEC Sports Booth, Paul. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing awesome. That was one of the coolest races I've ever been a part of. That was just awesome. That was an amazing race. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. This number 51 Exxon Chevrolet was really able to push in the final 40 laps. Everything before the final 40, the car didn't. The car just wouldn't go. I noticed you didn't have a pickup of pace. The car just wouldn't go. We wouldn't get to speed. Um, yeah, the car, I don't know what happened. A couple of pretty laps, the car just started to um, just kick itself off through a restart. Um, I don't know what it was, because every single restart, the car would not get up to the 250 speed. The car would always go to 240 or 245. It would never hit 250. Yep. So the one restart, the thing even slowed to 218. So it was really unreliable what speed would be on the start, so we always had to hit the rescue limiter. I also figured something else out. I also figured out the rescue limiter could the leader. If you were to take if you were to take it at your normal speed, two fifty, you wouldn't lose any speed. The car would keep the same handling. Everybody behind you would lose their draft. Yeah. So nobody could gain. If you were to use the restart limiter correctly, as you should you know, everything would be okay, but we were able to use it a little bit, and it's probably not going to happen next race. It's probably like a, you know, it's going to get... Uh, oh, I fully I'm understand that. But, you know. Now, uh, yeah. congratulations. Do you have anybody that you'd like to thank? Uh, I want to thank my team owner, obviously. I want to thank Marcus for giving me this opportunity. I also want to thank Bob for hosting this thing, man. If you like everything, you know, Bob's helped uh, my career get off to a huge start. I know I've won here once before. It's my second... Career Bob Inc. win, but uh, here's my team out over here. Um, but yeah, no, Marcus decided to give me this shot. Um, we went out there, we qualified really bad. Um, as He's I said, a good man. I never would hit full speed. Um, qualified like third row, so the car was never fast. But uh, yeah, it was just a mess all night until the final 40. We were able to really kick it into gear. Yeah, and you do have a really good team owner, I have to say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, he was he was walking behind me a lot, and I know he got into a little bit of scuffles. Me and him kind of got into a little scuffle, too, coming off of pit road. Um, me and him kind of got into it. I kind of hit him coming out of pit road. But, yeah, we, we've had the we've had a little couple of mishaps there. But, yeah, he's definitely – I'm really thankful for him giving me this opportunity. Yeah, well, congratulations once again. Uh, this was Paul – what's your name? Paracone, is that it? Sorry, I pronounced it wrong. Yeah. This is Paul Paracone. You were you were with AEC Sports Network. Congratulations once again on your win, bud. Hell yeah. And remember, guys, ESPN is better. Wrong answer. <laughs> I'm just gonna mute. Uh, I'm just gonna mute Pipestone really quickly. Yep. Ring the damn bell. Ring the bell. I want to see if I can. Oh, you know what? I should have made a promo for this. I should have made a promo for this from the bill. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe I won that race. <laughs> and this has been the AEC Sports Network. This is Pace and Avery tuning out. See you all in the next one.